Hello, my name is Greg and I wanted to make a video about some custom firmware I wrote for the Steam controller. Um, you can find all the source in the GitHub link below, but the purpose of this firmware was really a way to kind of provide a development or maybe interrogation environment to kind of develop and work with the Steam controller, figure out how the peripherals work, and kind of get some more maybe technical feedback. So it's going to be a little bit ugly, um, but hey, it's efficient. So with this particular firmware, what happens is the USB interface emulates a serial port, so you're going to need something to connect to a serial port. I'm on a MacBook here. I'm using Screen to connect. Uh, if you're on Windows, TerraTerm works. Screen's also available on Linux. Putty's another um, application that works well. But, alright, so we launch in there, and always want to see if you have a help command. We do. So here are a bunch of different commands that exist for what you can do with this. So we'll start off with something simple like buttons. So this is really just checking a bunch of GPIOs. And then if we hold the controller here, we can kind of show as I click buttons, different zeros become ones depending upon kind of the state of the GPIOs. So, okay. Pretty simple example. Uh, let's go to something maybe a little more complex. We'll go to ADC read. So there are a number of analog digital converters on here. Um, they're used for the X and Y position of the joystick. And then there are two analog triggers on the back of the system that when you push them fully down, they're a digital trigger, but they have an analog depth. So we can show here, oop, can we? get it to focus and see if I can get both in here, but I've got my thumb on the joystick, and you can see that the Joy X and Y analog readings change as I move them. And in the back here, we have the two digital trigger inputs, see if I can get this at an angle, and then as we depress those, oh, I hit a key, so this stopped updating. Alright, let's relaunch that. That's what happened. Alright, so... We can see as we push down, you can see the ADC is tracking your position there. Um, let's see what else we have that is worth mentioning. Um, you can change the intensity of the LED. You can check your position with the trackpads. Um, trackpad monitor is what I called it, I guess. So again, you know, where are you? Where you know, what is your position of your thumb on each trackpad, or whatever finger you're going to put down on it. Um, and then there's kind of a generic monitoring command that tries to show you everything. So, you know, those are representing the trackpad, that's your analog stick, which buttons are being pressed, you can see your right and left triggers there. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a little bit of a you know, bare bones interface, but it's a really great way to kind of learn what's going on in the controller, what peripherals are there, and how you interact with them. So, hope you found this interesting. Check out the uh, GitHub link below, and thanks for watching.